So, what's your perception of Tlacta? So my perception of Tlacta um, is twofold. So we'd probably go with the physical first. Um, it's very much reminiscent of Tara with like the mounds and the way the layout, uh, the very ring nature of it. Um, going in beyond the physical, to me there's an energy, like there is a resonance. Um, a lot of people have come to the place and a lot of people have walked on the earth and that leaves echoes. Um, the intent of it to be ritually used for fire and the significance of sour, it echoes here. Um, I think there's a lot to discover. Um, I think it's a really nice place. My first experience of it, so I think I'll have to come back and experience a bit more. You mentioned an association with fire. Can you expand on that? I haven't done much in the way of reading of it, but from what I understand, the fire festivals in Ireland are very, very big, um, particularly around the, the sound that transfer that kind of shift. Again, I'm a rookie on the academia side, Laura's the expert in that area, but there is a real presence of fire here, um, going from my intuitive, instinctual side of things, which is what I normally do. Location-wise, it's, it's right on the top of a rise. You know, as you're coming up the hill to it, you know you're going up a hill. Um, you can almost miss it unless you pull over past the, the cars flying past. But as you move up onto the hill, the open area, the scenery, the ground around us, we came at like you know the afternoon time and as the sun begins to move across the area you can really feel the fire in the land um from a point of view of significance and from spirituality you know raising a fire up in here it's going to be seen it's going to be recognized that you know there is a fire on Tlacta. you know people will actually know that and much like nowadays when you know christians hear the angelus ring if you see a fire on Tlacta, you'll know the significance happening and you were writing a story. What kind of a story was inspired by your visit to Tlacta? <sighs> writing a story on Tlacta. <sighs> the inspiration of a story on Tlacta, of course, comes with dealing with the Irish Sea. Um, they're all over the place in my country. It's just it's a natural thing and it's something that I've learned to experience and to be aware of. Of course, a lot of people tell me I need to be cautious, I need to be wary, you know, oh, don't step here, don't go there, you know, watch out for the, you know, she as they move around in their spaces. And yeah, absolutely. Nine times out of ten, every single person should watch exactly where they put their feet when they're in any area that might be associated with the she. I'm the one in ten. I'm the guy with the boots who stomps in. It's my nature, it's what they accept of me, it's what they expect of me. Um, and it also helps manage putting things in their place and their perspective. Um, not that I'm a bully in any way, not that I'm a braggart, but when it comes to the inspiration for the story, it's, it was triggered by that, what is, what is relevant and what is now? Now is my time. Now is human time. Now is this land belonging to my people. I respect that their time is there, I respect that they are here as well, that there is still a crossover, but it's not their time anymore. So the story, which I'm sure many will hopefully read and enjoy, um, kind of covers on that. There's, there's no point being overly cautious or you know, standoffish if it's going to harm or damage. So I don't want to spoil the story because Laura hasn't read it as yet, um, but it does come down to you know, it, you don't have to suffer many, but you will suffer me. Thanks very much for visiting. Thanks very much for uh, following us on the video. I think it might be bonus feature for those of you who subscribed on Patreon. So do enjoy. Tell your friends. Um, you know, Laura will link over to the stories, I'm sure, from where we go. Bye.